Okay, I'm just going to go through this question which was on the quiz. And this is a question about a system with a signal that has as an input to a system that has an impulse response. And we know now that linear systems, the, uh, this involves a convolution. So you, the output of the system is a convolution of the input with the output. So yt equals xt convolved with ht. Now, you can do this in the time domain with the definition of the convolution, and you've got this function here that needs to be convolved with this function here. You can certainly do that. But the question says and suggests that you use transforms, or tells you to use transforms. And this is going to make it easier. And we know that one of the properties of the Fourier transform is that the convolution in the time domain is equivalent to multiplication in the frequency domain. So if we can find the Fourier transform of x and the Fourier transform of h, then we just multiply them together. And uh, this is fairly straightforward. If you look on the formula sheet on the other side, the very bottom formula sheet, the very bottom formula tells you that the Fourier transform of e to the minus 2t times ut, as long as uh, that t there is positive, it's, it's the formula says uh, e to the minus at times ut, where the real part of a is positive, and that is the case here, because a is 2. And in this case, therefore, it equals x of t equals 1 divided by 2 plus j omega. And h of j omega, because it has the same form of that function, it's 1 divided by 3 plus j omega. So these are the two Fourier transforms directly from the formula sheet, and all you have to know is that this is this question is asking you to do convolution, and you use the convolution property also on the formula sheet. So now we multiply these two together, and we get a function like this, and it's got two terms on the denominator. And now to find out the answer which is asking for it uh, the, in the time domain, we need to do the inverse Fourier transform. So we now need to find the inverse Fourier transform of this. We transformed into the frequency domain, the Fourier transform, to find the answer in the frequency domain. And now we need to transfer back into the time domain. And there's a hint, there's a note in the, uh, in the uh, question which helps you with this. You can separate functions of this form where there's two different terms on the denominator. You can separate them out into two different terms by using this uh, this approach. And so that's what we'll do here. We've got d divided by 2 plus j omega plus e divided by 3 plus j omega. And then oh, you can either work it out yourself or look at the formula and you see that to the numerator, if you were to put these two terms together to get to the left hand side, the numerator 1 has to equal d times, you would be multiplying top and bottom by 3 plus j omega and then plus e, and you'd be multiplying the top and bottom of this by 2 plus j omega. So there's a formula. Now we've got to try and find out what d and e are. Now we know that this is, involves complex numbers here, so let's look at the real term. So the real parts has to equal 1, and the imaginary part has to equal 0, because this is actually, you could, you could also write this as 1 plus 0 times j. There's no imaginary part. So that means, let's look at the real parts, we have 1 equals 3d plus 2e, and if we look at the imaginary parts, we've got 0 equals d, because you've got here j times dw, plus e times jw. So the imaginary part here is dw and ew, and the w is uh, common to both terms, so you've got 0 equals d plus e. So you solve these equations. Uh, I think you can uh, solve those equations to find out that d equals 1 and e equals minus 1. Okay, so now we've got two terms. We've got 1 divided by 2 plus j omega minus 1 divided by 3 plus j omega. And again, we use the formula sheets um, to do the inverse transform of these two terms here, and actually in this case we can see that they're coming back to be, uh, they're, 
they're the same transforms except in reverse that we did before and now we've got this negative in between. So the answer is e to the minus 2t uh, minus e to the minus 3t all times ut. The ut is common to both of the terms. So this is the answer.